One of the often most overlooked concepts in GIS today is projections and coordinate systems. In order to do good GIS analysis, you need to have a good understanding of coordinate systems and projections, or you will make mistakes in what you're trying to understand. This graphic just shows a small number of possibilities of projections that can be used to view the world. Today, we typically are most associated with viewing Mercator projections, but Mercator projections do not do a very good job at preserving area or measuring distances. So if you're working on any project that requires measurement of area and distances, a Mercator projection might not be what you need to use. In GIS, projections and coordinate systems affect the way that we see our files. So here I have a state, the United States as a shape file, and whenever I go into it and I look at the properties of the individual file, you'll see that it has a coordinate system under uh, source and explains to you which one it's in. This is in North American Datum 1983, an unprojected geographic coordinate system. This is why whenever you look at the map itself, it might look a little strange to you. I want to change this so that I can see it in a different projection that I'm more familiar with, with, like the Mercator projection. In order to change projections, I go into the data frame properties by right clicking on the data frame. Whenever I click on that, that brings up this data frame property dialog box and I can click on coordinate systems tab. Here I will see the current coordinate system that I'm in. NAD 1983, North American Data 1983. I want to switch that now and I want to put that into a projected coordinate system. If I scroll up to the top, I see that there's two main folders, geographic coordinate systems. Again, these are unprojected, just longitude, latitude definitions of the 3D surface of the Earth, or the projected coordinate system whenever that's being converted over to a 2D uh, graphic. One of the most famous projections out there is the Mercator projection. It's a worldwide projection that's used by Google Maps and many of the online ma mapping platforms that we use today. So if I zoom down and roll, scroll down and look at my uh, predefined projections, I will see that I have a Mercator world projection here, which already has all the parameters that are needed for that projection. I hit return and I will get this warning message telling me that I am applying a transformation. One of the most powerful concepts about GIS is that I can have data in one projection, but then display it in another projection without changing the data. When I hit yes to, put, to allow this transformation to go forth, I will see now that my data looks much different. And I can see that it's kind of panned over, but even the shape of it has changed. You can see the area of Alaska has gotten much bigger because of its closeness to the North Pole. You can see here the rest of the United States the way it looks. Many people find this Mercator projection familiar, but also kind of strange. Uh, Mercator does a good job of preserving uh, angles. So you can see here Alaska has a very straight line on the border here because it follows a longitude latitude uh, parallel line. Uh, another projection that is probably better to use when viewing the, for the United States is an equal area Albers projection. This is a conical projection that we'll look at more uh, later, um, but right now, just to get the concept, let's look at it, what it would look like now. So if I go here into my, uh, into my continental systems and I look at North America, I can find an equal area projection for North America like this one, North American Albers Equal Area Conic. This conical projection will preserve area, but not do a very good job with directionality. So the north arrow will not be pointing up north anymore, but instead now the north arrow, as you can see, is following a conical shape. Here in the middle, it points straight up. But as we go over to Alaska, it goes to the side. And as we go over to Hawaii, you can see it goes over more to the side. But look at the preservation of area of Alaska. Now Alaska is comparable in size to what it actually is. These conical projections are good for area, but not good for directionality. So depending on what you're trying to show people in your map, you need to select the appropriate projection.